And it has already destroyed 12 homes, and the fire in the Gila is only gaining strength. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. It is burning out of control. The wildfire in the Gila wilderness is now more than 70,000 acres and running wild for the third day. Wind continues to keep firefighters from stopping it. And now residents of one community, possibly in the fire's path, aren't getting out of the way. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live in reserve at the fire base camp. Kim, this fire is moving fast. In 24 hours, the Whitewater Baldy Complex fire grew, uh, excuse me, grew more than, uh, excuse me, nearly 50,000 acres. Today, shifting winds meant fire crews had to relocate base camp here to reserve. Actually, at the briefing last night, they said we have a 12-hour plan, we have a six-hour plan, and we have a four-hour plan. He says the four-hour plan don't count on getting everything you left here. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't need to move at quite that quickly, but others don't seem to be moving at all. We're told 13 residents from Mogollon have not heeded a voluntary evacuation. One person did. Officials are heading there soon to try and give them more information about what the fire is doing and encourage them to evacuate. As of this morning, the fire was five miles southeast of the small, historic ghost town. Meanwhile, the fire is still in Willow Creek. 12 homes and seven other buildings were destroyed, with dozens more still threatened. We were told this morning a crew would be sent to Willow Creek to assess the damage, but we haven't heard an update yet at this point. The windy weather has kept firefighters from attacking this fire from the air and from the ground, and we're told that until Saturday evening, they may not be able to do too much about it. This fire has already jumped over fire lines set up to contain it. Right now, fire crews are basically at the mercy of Mother Nature. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. And unfortunately, it does not look like those winds are going to let up for several days. Here's meteorologist Mark Ronchetti. Yeah, Kim, not only are they not going to let up, they're going to get worse. Today, the winds are not quite as bad as they were at this point yesterday. And you can actually see that across portions of southern New Mexico, where we're not seeing the huge smoke plume pushing all the way across the southern tier of the state. In fact, Cloudcroft, which yesterday had all the smoke roll in and sort of cover the sky, we're not seeing that for today. So that is a bit of a benefit, but it doesn't mean this fire isn't still roaring, as Alex said. And the big issue is going to be the fact that we're going to see this thing, I think, explode tomorrow. And that smoke isn't going to head for southern New Mexico as much as it's going to head for the Albuquerque metro area. As far as what's going on right now, this is the visible satellite, and you can barely see, and you really have to look closely on your television over southern Catron County. That's the fire right here, and that's the smoke. So we're not seeing the kind of big explosion of smoke out of this fire, but tomorrow the winds come up. Saturday, the winds come up even more. So, this thing is definitely going to get much, much bigger and it's going to become much more of a player in the metro area. Details on that, plus your full forecast. It's all coming up.